Yo, 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 welcome to the show. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Happy Tuesday, April 16th. It's 6.30 and we're going to be making a video on the Roth IRA. If you could not already tell, uh, we do videos like this once a month, around the middle of the month. And uh, this is just a full in-depth overview at my Roth IRA. Uh, that's simply what it is. We're going to be looking at the timestamps, the, per the performance over these timestamps, buying power, our uh, contributions going to be looking at the holdings the stocks etfs the options we have going to dive into how we allocate our money like the deposits all that good stuff and also just this um graph over here i like this pie chart i'm a, I'm a graph kind of guy so i really love how that shows how the money is being um is diversified i love seeing that uh, also, I should mention that we're going to be looking at the IRA dividends as well. Um, nothing really spectacular. <laughs> I'm not using the money, but just in case anyone wanted to know what that was like. So, without further ado, if you're new here, thanks for being here. Hit like, subscribe, because I, I can tell you like Roth IRA videos. I don't know if you've started yours yet, but if you haven't, I encourage you to do so. It is a great tool for investing. And So, let's get into the video. Uh, we're down on the day. Well, the portfolio is sitting at $9,442.06. So we're down on the day 0.45 of a percent. Down on the week 4.3%. And a lot of that is really the market being down. But Ford, now we have 100 shares. If you want to check that video out, I'll link it up top. I've said that like a thousand times, but I'll put it at the top. Um, just pretty cool video. Very exciting in in my opinion. Um, but Ford, ha Ford has been tanking. So whoop. There goes the portfolio. Um, right now, on the month, we are down 1.6%. On three months, up 2.5%. Year to date, look at that dip. Look at that nice dip. <laughs> um, on the year to date, we're up 2.1%. And one year, which started the portfolio around the middle, close to the end of August, something like that, um, we are up 7.3%. Uh, Buying power, we got $239 let's just say 240 and uh, $202 is from the deposit that I do um, through Robinhood but the $39 is really from like Ford options being sold like we're selling against our 100 shares so I'm, I'm slowly building up that income there on the side uh, Ford has been falling which you know long term I'm not worried short term I mean it no, it's not the cutest because Ford is a decent holding in my portfolio now. But in the long run, I mean, I'm not buying any more Ford in the foreseeable future. So all the other stocks and ETFs and whatever will, you know, like grow around it. And it will it'll find its place in my portfolio is what I'm trying to say. Um, car contributions. We are 2300 deep in 2024. 4700 is what remains, and obviously 2023 has already been um, completed. $6,500, juicy 1% match. <laughs> Sixty-five dollars right there um, back into my stocks. So um, the one option I have is the Ford call I sold right here and uh it's been going well so far i mean ford had such a great rally the last two three weeks maybe up to a month uh, maybe even two months who knows i haven't really been tracking it like that but um it's nice to see ford finally starting to pull back it's been a long time coming <laughs> I called it for not this um, past weekend, but the weekend before that. So not this past Friday, but the Friday before that, that Ford was going to be trading at 12.50 all the way from like 1330s. So like I know Ford's going to drop 80 cents to, <laughs> to close at 12.50. I was wrong. I was off. Yeah, that's fine. I think it closed at like 12.80 something. But look at the Ford is now trading at 12.08 still above uh, the average cost so i'm very comfortable and if it goes below i would really consider buying more ford but for now i don't really plan on it i like keeping it at 100 shares and le at least hitting the pause button on that but uh, for now we're still getting income from the dividends and uh, hopefully we will comfortably be able to sell to continue selling calls on the 100 shares 
Um, but for it is looking good. Uh, I can go down to the calls I've sold previously. So, yeah, this is where I bought the one, the the five point six, five point five shares, just to complete my one hundred shares. Immediately sold a contract, eleven dollars rolled it, take, rolled it nine dollars, so that's twenty dollars, and then um sold on the 15th a contract 18 dollars so so far we're about almost 40 dollars which explains the buying power the extra buying power um 40 dollars deep and i really like that 40 dollars on let's say 1200 dollars in two three weeks isn't bad yeah i think i really like that um so we got spy here uh really the backbone of the portfolio probably my largest holding i think it is yeah, I'll look at the graph in a second. We got VTI, total stock market ETF, definitely a staple in the portfolio. VHT, Vanguard Healthcare ETF, QQQ, uh, Ford, SCHD, and uh, SPY dividends. And really, you can see all these stocks that we've had for a minute, and well, ETFs we'd have for a minute, we're up on them. But the ones that are new, SPMO, SPLG, QQQ, and Vici, these are all in the red because they're fresh the markets have been falling and it makes sense i mean really spy d might come in the red <laughs> ford definitely I'm, ford is gonna be in the red so soon <laughs> it's yeah it's coming um but we got spmo here which is my substitution for spy so instead of buying spy at least for this quarter i'm gonna be buying spmo reasons being it is a I mean, it's an index that really tracks the same thing as SPY. Uh, it tracks uh, market cap weighted index of 500 large and mid cap US companies selected by the S&P 500 S&P committee. The listed name for SPLG is SPDR portfolio S&P 500 ETF. So it's literally the same as the S&P 5 uh, SPY, but it costs $60 and it has a lower expense ratio. 0 0.02 i think spy is like 0 0.09 so nothing i mean I, with my portfolio size it's literally worth less than air but long term let's see how it goes i do want to still own a lot of spy just because of the, the ease and the liquidity well the liquidity with spy obviously i want to be selling options in the very near in the very far future um spy splg i've never sold any options on it sold or bought any options so i'm not sure how liquid it is but i imagine this is more just a buy and hold type thing like not really considering options but hey i'm sure you can do it it's just not gonna be as liquid as spy would be and um right after that is qqqm which is the same idea um like splg is to spy qqqm is to qqq so this is going to track the largest uh, 100 not the 100 nasdaq uh, listed stocks excluding financials so pretty much all those tech stocks um you know all those good stuff and you know like <laughs> these are really if you're going for <laughs> These are really the backbones of so many portfolio right now, like the Microsoft, the Apples, and the NVIDIAs, the Amazons, the Facebook, Meta, Broadcom, Google, Costco, Tesla. Like, is there even diversification anymore? Because SPLG, SPY, you know, QQQ, QQQM, SEA, like, there is so much overlap between them but hey i guess they just really that's what that's how the market's trending and those things go with the market so yeah i'm so diversified but i'm wondering if i am diversified <laughs> enough <laughs> oh lord um I got uh, vici here and we have 4.2 shares of vici already so vici is a reit not sure how many of you guys have heard of it it's one that focuses more on like casino type properties wait why did i type reit here <laughs> beachy so there is an etf that is called reit i'm i'm taking it interesting anyways uh vg properties inc is a real estate investment is a REIT which owns acquires and develops gaming hospitality and entertainment properties it operates through the following segments whatever so 
yeah uh they do like casinos and that type of thing it's just a another flavor of real to income i already have that in my brokerage so i thought i'd diversify a little bit more get vici in the roth and really vici has a much better dividend growth history than realty income does like yeah everyone knows realty income has a nice dividend and it grows but it grows so slowly and really when you look at it long term it's growing like the kager is two two and a half percent over five years and vici is younger it's newer to paying dividends i think they've only been paying for a, a bit over a decade but their growth rate is already like six percent and it's a decent starting dividend they also don't pay monthly like realty income does but i i mean i'm willing to sacrifice that i'm not using the dividends right now so um i'm gonna be buying vici I, i'm i'm fine i'm solid with my decision um it's my wrath i'm it's i'm really not pressed about it so uh, we can jump over into the dividends here and it, it's <laughs> the Roth isn't really exciting guys <laughs> we don't even get paid for four months out of the year every february may august and november i can expect zero dollars to be deposited in my account through dividends and i really wanted to buy real to income for that reason just to get that at least something each month um especially on the blank funds obviously really on the blank ones but um hasn't it never went like that because uh, i believe vici is going to be paying in march and the march is already heavy i mean look at this <laughs> yeah that's how march looks compared to december which i thought was big december i remember like december yeah, end of december the 31st whenever i'm like look at that $25 in one month <laughs> then March comes by it's like oh what's that, like 40 something dollars I don't even know if this thing will tell me I don't know man but yeah um let's just look at the graph then um actually they're now let's look at the graph so uh, spy is my largest holding schd is the second largest and i'm not expecting schd to fall as quickly as spy would if we do like see a few weeks or months of pullback so schd might overtake spy in the next i don't know let's just see how it goes there's only like 40 dollars 30 dollars so yeah 31 dollars 32 dollars separating them so Let's see. It would be funny if next month when I do this update, <laughs> SCHD is my largest holding. Um, but as, especially since I'm not going to be buying any more of these for... Well, I am buying SCHD, so that's another reason for it to be more, um, you know, like expensive or more... It's, it's going to have more of my portfolio uh, diversity here. I'm not buying any SPY for this quarter. don't plan on it. Um, SCHD, yes. Uh, KQQ is my third largest. Uh, Ford, I would like to see Ford and maybe VTI swap spaces or swap spots. Um, but I mean, Ford is, is it's just because I have 100 shares. All the other position sizes will grow around it. Then it's going to look minuscule. Assuming it stays constant and I continue adding and, you know, stocks perform how they should. And ETFs perform how they should. Um yeah it's uh, the portfolio is not looking too bad or largest loss so far is vici at seven dollars and 20 cents largest gain so far spy 172 bucks 73 bucks and it's looking pretty good if you're wondering how i deposit um usually 250 a week this week i'm doing 300 because i can and uh, the markets are falling so i mean let's bump it up an extra little bit it's just fifty dollars but fifty dollars out of two hundred and fifty dollars that's twenty percent so i just increased my investment by twenty percent which isn't bad um could have done more could have done less but hey we we did what we did and if the markets fall more we might we might go heavier um yeah that's how it's looking this isn't updated uh this i mean it, this is like 4700 now yeah um, but the Roth is looking good. Seven. How long are we doing this for? August started in August, and then that would make five, and then three, four. So around nine months we've been doing this, 
and uh, so far so good markets are finally starting to pull back from october and i mean i put a question mark by that statement is it pulling back or is it just a, a small blip <laughs> um nobody knows that's why we will continue to dca into our positions very strict in our roth whatever whatever the price is we will buy it and uh, we buy quality etfs here and uh, yeah i think the or graphs and their performance or the performance just really just it shows for that so um love to see that uh, i think i'll end the video here uh, thank you guys so much for watching i will you know again hit, hit the like hit the subscribe button if you're into this kind of thing and i'll see you guys next time peace